We are back at it in Killing Floor 2. I am on the Nightmare map, which I promised you guys. It's a very cool Levolution map. This time I'm going to be playing as Ray Higgins, who I have kitted up with some pretty fancy futuristic stuff because right now it's the Cyberpunk update and I've unlocked some cool stuff like these goggles and this overall outfit, headphones, and then this funny little Hans backpack who is one of the bosses we might face a bit later. This time I'm playing as Commando, which is one of the ones I started off as, you can probably see, given that it is my highest ranked perk right now, and I'll talk about some of the things that I have for it once we get in the game. But one thing I'm happy to say is that I have addressed the watchability issue of the earlier video. I had to alter the gamma, which I had tuned for my monitors, which have a, a bit of a different presentation than some others, so this should be a little bit easier to watch. So I'm starting off with this AR-15 Varmint Rifle. It is it is in 9mm, which is you know a little bit different. I'm trying to get the other animation to uh, check the mag. There are three different animations you have. There we go. You can kind of see what's going on there. And I'm going to start off just in single fire mode. That was that little bit of lag in the beginning, but at least we start off with Z time. So along with just overall improvements and enhance- Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Glad I turned around there. Along with overall just a oh, little crazy rock going on there. Sorry, as I was saying, improvements with uh, just uh, things like reload speed and damage from the level that I have with the perk. I also have the ability to see stalkers, which are the invisible characters, enemies as well as seeing enemy health once I have damaged them, which is kind of nice. Things are popping off, so I'm going to put this in three round burst and spray a little bit more, but hopefully get more kills. I saw the guy's health bar, but I didn't know where it was. <laughs> I get a lot of Zed time here. Need more enemies. So last guy. Whoa! <laughs> I was gonna try and just pull out my knife, but he uh, started coming at me pretty quick. So I didn't have much time to talk about the environment. You can see that we are in a nightmare. I didn't get that at first, but <laughs> now I do realize that uh, that's what this is. The surreal aspect, as, long, as well as the teleportation to new zones, just meaning that we are actually trying to play out a nightmare. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't good. I need to get to that traitor. <laughs> it's funny when the uh, ah. <laughs> okay, it's just the environment. <laughs> I guess we are in the trenches somewhere. This is a maybe a post-traumatic traumatic flashback of my character. Although I think her backstory is that she's like an accountant in Australia. Wow, oh, there's a husk. Okay, hit him with a grenade. That didn't seem to have done much to him at all. Woo, got him. Got his backpack and some ammunition there. What is that? A collectible, I guess. And we're on to the next zone. We are in a creepy clown lair, Carnival of Death, with uh, an audience there who's partially on fire, but mostly just inanimate. <laughs> And this time I can buy a new gun. I'm going to keep this one just so I have ammo and add on the SA-80 L85A2. The SA-80 means that's just the class of rifle. The L85A2 is the actual rifle. Let's try and fill that up, though I don't have enough money to uh, get all the magazines. We'll just uh, have to use this and then the remaining ammo I have for my AR-15. Okay. We got those stalkers coming in, but I've got that commando perk sight. So I don't have to worry about uh, finding them and their invisibility. Gotta be careful with this fully automatic gun because it does burn through ammo, and I don't have that much. You would think 200 rounds would be plenty, but with as much spraying as I do, it ends up being problematic. Whoa! <laughs> I'm getting so much Zed time, I'm perhaps forgetting all of the perk benefits. One of them may be increased Zed time. Because it's 
It's feeling like I'm getting a lot more than I normally do. Where are we? No problem. So what do we have next? I'm impressed by your survival instinct out there. Oh, the creepy psych ward hospital area. This one's tough because there's not a lot of room. It's just kind of a, an eight-shaped area. We also have this steampunk looking furnace, which is pretty sick. I'm not sure if I can use that for environmental kills. That would be nice though. So still not enough money to buy the next rifle. So we're gonna stick with this one. Are they? They're all around me. How did they even get there? <laughs> this game's spawning is so tricky. I'm guessing they came from up there. Now we just got a bunch of clots. And then these stalkers, which would generally be a problem, but with that uh, detection, it's no problem at all. Man, those guys are tricky with the uh, with their their blocking. And getting headshots is so satisfying. So I'm gonna have to deal with this scrake. And uh, with my ability to see his health, it will give me. Ah! <laughs> I was gonna say it will allow me to see when he's about to get enraged, and then I can focus all of my uh, attention on him uh, with my munitions to take care of him. But didn't work out that way. So, we can move away from the insane asylum into the- oh no, the spider dome. I mean, I'm not sure if it has a real name, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Well, I've burned all my money, but I wanted to show you guys some more of the guns, so I've got this AK-12, as it's called in-game. And I don't like it as much. I like to go for some of the later guns. This one, to me, just seems like it's in an awkward middle phase where it's it's too expensive early on, but it's not that great once you have the money. Oh, didn't really have enough to end him in one mag. Okay, got him there. Gonna keep an eye on that ammunition just to try and save me some money. That other one. I'm having trouble reading these, uh. What we here, okay, blow. Girl? And then. That must be the scrake up there. Start off with the L85, yeah. and then I'll switch to the AK 12. Nice apron, Chainsaw Man! <laughs> I wouldn't insult him at this point. He's a significant enemy. Alright, he's enraged. Switch to this guy. And you can see I actually stumbled him there. That is a additional benefit of being commando, and I don't see it happen very often because generally you just end up killing the enemy. Um, but in that case, it was great. It helped me not take any damage. Though I uh, don't have any armor, so it didn't really cost me any money if I would have. This here is a relatively recent addition, the STG-44. And I, you know, I love just how many guns they've been adding. Uh, this one's cool. It has, you know, some iron sights. I wish they would allow you to add things to guns. So, for instance, on this AK-12, you can see it's got a lot of attachments. I wish I could kind of pick my own sights and whatnot. That being said, I wouldn't really change anything on the uh, the MP-44, STG-44, because it is pretty OG <laughs> on its own. Okay, here they come. And that's a scrape to start things off. Oh, got a lot of ammo with these perks, but not enough to get him in one mag. I might have been able to. I just didn't believe in myself. <laughs> now they gotta be coming from behind me soon. Oh, where are they? My prediction was correct. My execution was not. Ooh, just gonna get his backpack from here. Nah, not quite accurate enough. This thing's bouncing around on me. Hmm. This is a crazy farmhouse. It looks like I'm tiny, <laughs> which is cool. And uh, what can I grab? Have we uh, gotten our fill of the STG-44? Let's move on up to the SCAR-H, but make sure that we have enough ammo for it. 
So this is one of my favorite rifles here. It starts off with 20 rounds, but with my perks I've got 30 in it, which should be much better than just the 20. Less reloading to deal with. Unfortunately, I can't take down those giant bottles. Just a little ant here with little ant bullets. <laughs> <laughs> so much said time. I wish I could be more accurate with this thing. Oh, gosh. I'm glad this is more open, this area, but I still seem to be getting... Oh, two giant flesh pounds? How is that fair? Let's get the Scar H out. This is no time for messing around. Oh, <laughs> burn that mag already. Just get some key headshots in there. Don't think I got any. I'm really low on health. This is bad. Oh, I'm gonna pull my knife out, just run a little bit. Maybe throw a nade at the floor. <laughs> that seemed to have worked. Oh, wow. That guy went down quick. I must have hit a, a very, very weak spot. Oh, gosh. God, make yourself known. Knocked his arm off. It's the first time I've seen that. Whew. Okay. Looks like the floor dropped out. And we can uh, move on to... Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. This is like the Sarlacc pit. Is that what it is? Did I pronounce that correctly? But we're moving on towards the end. Let's grab some ammo. And uh, I think I only have one gun left. This is wave 7, so I've got this and then the boss. But we've got the stoner, 63. I'll save that for the end and just fill up what I've got now. Man, this is so creepy. I'm just imagining this in virtual reality. Oh, I miscalculated. This is the boss. Whoops! <laughs> I guess I had just finished uh, wave number seven. Now we're going to have to deal with the patriarch. He's a, uh, a boss that we can remember from the first game. And unfortunately, I won't be able to show you two of the other guns, or really just the M16, which is a combination grenade launcher and uh, other thing. Ugh, this guy's rough. Now, he goes invisible and heals, but hopefully I'll be able to chase after him because I can spot him while he is invisible, given that I'm commando. <laughs> nice try, buddy. Oof, how am I doing on ammo? Ten more mags? Not bad. Yeah, nice try. I might be the perfect class for this. Uh, he's going to hide behind those guys. And he's going to go heal just God knows where. I don't know the map at all. Yep, yeah, he already got his health back. Did he? Oh, he went off the map. How's that fair? Oh! <laughs> nice try. I know all your tricks, Patriarch. Especially that one. Uh, he's not invisible anymore. Oh, let's get this... Let's get this guy! <laughs> nice. Wow. Oh, you can see me. Nice. <laughs> Sick. Got him. Now my favorite part, just this third person. I wish they would add this as an option because I love playing over the shoulder third person. In the interest of being thorough, I've gone back through the entire seven waves and this time purchased the Stoner 63A LMG. I'm going to hold off on the M16 because that is a primary demolitionist weapon and I want to keep each primary gun towards that perk for that gameplay video. But since this thing is so heavy, we actually don't have our pick. It becomes really a primary. I can still have this Scar H, which is pretty significant. But the, uh, the stoner is definitely going to be our number one gun here. So we're facing the Patriarch again here. I'm wondering whose nightmare this is. Our nightmare or his nightmare or like a collective Zed nightmare. But the stoner should make this a bit easier than it was before. You can see I've got a lot of ammunition on this guy. The reload time isn't great. I'm set up right now for magazine capacity. And not... Oh, i got to keep an eye on my health because it's burning through my armor. That man, <laughs> the reload's pretty uh pretty long. You can see this is interesting in that it feeds from from the right side, kind of like a PKM. Uh, don't want him to get off the map, but we're gonna run out of ammo. You 
You can see I've almost given up on getting headshots with this because it's bouncing around. <laughs> Somehow seems harder than the first time. Alright, these seem to be headshots. Get him! No! <laughs> I started looking at his health and, and not him with those final rounds, so all of those shots were not on target. Whew. Oh god, look how much health he has again. This is crazy. Oh no, <laughs> that was close. Ooh, man, this is bad. Oh, where's my scar? <laughs> that was close. Seven health and a level up. Oh, how epic. Whew, seven health, seven bolts left in that mag. Oh, that was that was tricky. That was rough. But I uh made it through. Make sure he's down. That was that was rough. I don't know why this is kept in the second slot. That's definitely definitely my more powerful of the two. Or is it? I don't know. Finishing off with that Scar H, and it was definitely harder that second time around. But anyways, thanks for watching this playthrough of Commando on Nightmare. Very, very cool map. I hope to see more of this kind of map in the future, and they're definitely going to be releasing more stuff because they, I think, get a lot of revenue from their cosmetics, which, you know, loot box kind of stuff annoys me, but if it can support a game the way it has supported Killing Floor 2, then I will live with it. Plus, this isn't multiplayer, so... It's all just for you. I mean, there is co-op, but, you know, it's not a contentious multiplayer. But they did add versus mode. Oh, well, I could go on ad nauseum about this crap. But anyways, thanks for watching. Next up is, I believe, support. So you got some shotguns in, but leave some comments down below. Like or dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.